In this video, we're going to do a full factory restore reset on any HP laptop, Windows 11, Windows 10. So I want to show you three different methods. So you want to make sure your HP is fully plugged in and ready to go. It'll take about 30 minutes to complete this. So what we're going to do is when we start up the computer, we're going to tap F as, F as in Frank 11, F11 key, multiple times. Um, it might take you a couple of times for it to catch but uh, what, what you'll do is you'll see like a little scrolling wheel down here. So let's go ahead and start now. So F11. Or you could just hold it down. So see there it says please wait. That's what you want. Uh, that's going to get you into the, uh, to the factory reset. Okay from here what we want to do is do troubleshoot. Hit enter. What we're going to do from here is do reset this PC. And then from here, um, you could do keep my files, removes apps and settings. But what we want to do is remove everything. Remove all of my personal files, apps and settings. And then from here, you want to do local reinstall unless you want to do it on your cloud. Reset this PC, getting things ready. So what we can do is uh, just remove my files or do a fully clean the drive. And this takes several hours. I'd highly recommend just to remove the files. That's really all you need to do. So we're gonna hit enter and that will start the process. It's all automatic. The next option is what to do it directly from the login screen right here. And some people will do this if they forgot their password. And so right below my picture here is a little power button. Now what I want you to do, while you're in the login screen, make sure you're plugged in, you're going to hold down the shift key, the shift key on the keyboard, and that looks like this right here, right here is the shift key, right here to my left, the shift, and as you're holding that down, you want to hover over here, click on the power button here, and hit reset, and you might have to hit, are you sure you want to reset, click yes. You do this while still holding on to the shift key. You do not let go of the shift key. And then that's going to take you to this screen right here. So when you get to this screen, this is pretty self-explanatory. With the newer Dells, these screens change a little bit. But I want to give you the gist of what you need to do. You want to look for troubleshoot, reset your PC. And when it says reset your PC, always click where it says reset your PC. And then here you want to click on that. You don't do advanced options. And then again, this will ask you, do you want to keep your files, remove everything. Choose remove everything. And that right there will put it to out of box state. Now you might get a version like this where it says just remove files, fully clean drive. That's fine too. And then you'll get to this screen. You click reset. Now you might get another screen that's white. It looks like a BIOS, like white. Again, just look for reset. It's pretty self-explanatory and it'll walk you through. If you're in Windows 10 home screen right now or 11, what you're going to do is on the search here on the bottom left of your screen, I'm going to want you to type in reset, R-E-S-E-T. So type in reset and then what's going to happen is, is on the very top it's going to show up here recovery right on the top and I want you to hit that and then that's going to take you to this page right here and then what you're going to do is you're going to click get started and then this one is going to give you two options one is to keep your files and one is to remove everything I got a virus on this one so I'm going to remove everything now keep in mind if you remove everything that basically means that it's clean it to albotic out of box state so like you purchase it from the store it will have Windows 10 or 11 on it and it'll have all the apps that it came with but everything else will be removed pictures videos any personal information browsing history and that's probably what a lot of you want you want to resell it you want to give it as a gift or you just need a complete refresh uh, do make sure you subscribe to me and put, in a, put something in the comment section let me know if it worked for you and uh, I do appreciate it